We're not going anywhere. The car is not going forward. Let us become the proper mechanics and understand there's time to use the seichel and there's time to use the midah and there's time to blend the two together. That's what the Rebbe said, that it has to be oiris the toyu, but the kalim the tikkun. The Rebbe made it very clearly that the union of Mashiach is a dogma ploy. This is the words the Rebbe said. The Rebbe said, yes, it's a wild thing to talk about. But the Rebbe also said in the same breath that Choyche Chagolos is also a Dovah Ploi, a wild thing. And therefore it is our obligation to fight fire with fire. Yes, you have to do some wild things. Fire with fire, there's no question about it. And it's interesting that in the earlier years the Rebbe writes that in the 40s, when Lubavitch arrived to America, not everybody in the street knew yet who these people are, but they stood out. One person asks to another one, there's Anazai the Lubavitcher, who are these Lubavitchers? And the Rebbe writes that the other guy answers them, the view dimension. This was in the 40s. San Emission given the view dimension. Yes, we are proud to be the view dimension. We are proud to be of that ilk of the view dimension. Because as, who is Lubavitch today? The Rebbe, the Rebbe made it clear that he is Lubavitch, and it is him who has to follow. I don't know for those who remember some of the, you may be a little bit younger, but it's interesting to, to repeat. There was an incident that took place many years ago. in which there was a chosid, an older chosid, who was pretty prominent. But he came to America before the rabbeim, he came a lot earlier. His prominence was of such nature that he was a makulev in the Rashab house. He wrote his face on Ashkaf to the Rebbe. Orav Rabbeel Rifkin. He lived on the corner of Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn, the big building. One day, he came home and he couldn't get into his house. It seemed to be that the keyhole was stuffed with glue, with whatever it was. He couldn't stick the key into the house. He had a son-in-law who was not a Lubavitcher. Because of the fact that he came to America that early, and there were no Lubavitchers around when his daughter had to get married. So she married an outright Miss Nugget. His name is Shurim. This man wrote a column in the Soviets every week. At that time it was still a big paper. The Friday after this incident, there was a headline in the Soviets. Lubavitcher terroristen, whatever locks out, I don't remember the rest of the words, but the key two words is Lubavitcher terroristen. I don't know how many of you here remember the Fabring in the following day. The Rebbe was sitting over here and storming away an entire Fabringen that in Lubavitch there are no terrorists. The Rebbe said, I am Lubavitch, and Lubavitch is me. And if there's a terrorist, he's not a Lubavitcher. Both things cannot happen. If a person veers away from our commitment to the Rebbe, if a person veers away from our instructions from the Rebbe of what our mission in life has to be, 
I know it's harsh words, but that individual is not a Lubavitcher. We live today in a time that we're not reading history, we're not trying to become part of whatever. We are making history. These are turbulent times that the world is yet to see. And we have this chus to be part of this armed forces that they ever taken alongside him to be his hands and feet and the rest of his body to help him carry out what Mashiach has to carry out, change and transform this world. And you know something? We have a lot of friends out there who, if you remember, in the 50s and 60s were sitting and mocking and laughing and telling us a different Torah. And I want to go out to do anything in Kirov, as they call it today, in Shlichus, to help save a Jew because it's different Torah. Today, I don't know that there's a movement in the world that doesn't have a program Fear of Rechokim! Despite the fact that the Rebbe says there is no such thing as a Rechok. But everybody's running around, Fear of Rechokim! And that's fine, providing that we're sitting in the front, in the front car, in the locomotive together with the Rebbe, and they're sitting in the caboose. This is a long train. When the Rebbe went out of station number one, the caboose didn't even arrive anywhere close to it. By the time we came to station number ten, they were just beginning to arrive to station number one. They're catching up with us. And that's okay. I just saw a book published in Arthur Throw. A non Lubavitch Schaefer with a Hagdosha. The Hagdosha is for, for a, a great person. I'll tell you who. 